What's up guys? Um, I just sold uh, an item on eBay and I figured I will show you how to ship it correctly so that way when it gets to their location uh, you know when the customers o uh, open the, the box it's not broken or uh, doesn't look like the way you sent it so it's really important that you know how to ship properly uh, so that way your quality and obviously your positive feedback will maintain at a high level I hope you like this video alright so I have this um, item that I just sold this little game here so basically I have a lot of boxes here I uh, before the video I, I got this box um, you gotta find something that is a little bit bigger than what you have because I can easily put it on an envelope like this even though it's padded and it has uh, bubbles inside like this I just don't feel um, I don't feel that anything can happen I mean you see one of those videos that uh, uh, the, the male people uh, typically just throw the, uh, the things on the air you know the packages so um, that's why I like boxes whenever I can I I just do it with boxes, especially these things. I mean, people who buy these type of things, uh, usually they collect these things, and you don't want you don't want the customer to open the package and and um, and see that the package is really broken and uh, it's just banked up. You don't want that. So that's why I um, I like to to uh, pack it in boxes like this, uh, even though it costs more money to ship. But for me, quality, um, it's more important to me than, um, you know, than to save a few dollars. So, with that said, I'll continue to tell you how it works. So, basically, I, I got this thing. This you can get, like, if you go to the stores or the warehouses, uh, you can ask for their supplies. Usually, they throw them out. So, they'll be happy to give you... Uh, pieces like this, you know, they're broken, but these work really great because one they're really lightweight and two um, You know people just throw them out so if you can reuse them It's good for the environment because you, you you're using it again and you're recycling it And it's good for them because they don't have to throw out the garbage so basically you, you grab a piece that you think would fit good into the box in this case this looks good so I'm going to put one here and basically one here it doesn't have to necessarily um, uh, you know be exact on the size but at least if somebody throws uh, something um, you know the box in the air let's just say the mailman this thing is gonna absorb the shock so that's why I like to use a, a, a nice thick piece like this. All right, and then basically I'll just make sure that it's still on the sides. In this case it is. And this is really important. This this looks like it's going to be too thick, but uh, I'll, I'll see right now. So I'm going to put this on the floor here. So that way you can see what I'll do next. Basically what I'll do, I'm going to grab a little bit of bubble wrap and also just wrap the, the item like this. And that just gives it a little bit more um, of cushion. So that's why I like to do it like this. You see it's well wrapped. And basically, you just gotta tape it. So I have this little thing here. It's a little tape weight thing. And basically I just tape the sides here. 
like this. Like this. And this doesn't really matter. Um, because it's the sides. But if you want to be a little bit more proper, just tape it a little bit more. looking this side is looking like this like I said this is just extra protection so you don't really need to go uh, too crazy on this but look at least it's looking very secure the integrity of the box is going to be well safe so what you do next I don't like this piece, it looks too thick, so what I'll do is I'll just cut something from this piece, right here, basically you just go like this, just make it fit, it doesn't matter if it breaks because this is just extra protection here, try to make it fit. Alright, so just like this, but once you put the item, this becomes a little wall of safety, as you can see. So I'll do the same here. So if somebody gets, happens to throw it, then this side will be secure. Now the top is really important too, even though it's wrapped on, on bubble wrap, you still want to do like a little layer of something like this. So now every side is secure. I mean, if you're buying something online, you know, you want to make sure that you also receive it the way you're supposed to receive it so i like to spend a little bit more on my materials just because uh, quality is really important to me so that's why i do this like i said i could have done it on an envelope but i like um let me just tape this and i'll just tell you So this is taped already, right? But since I like details, I have an eBay tape. Since this person bought it on eBay, I bought this little tape where I also just tape it. And I feel like it, it looks a little bit better, you know, a little bit more presentable. the customer you know so it's secure if they happen to throw it there's a lot of safety going inside here like I said this is a more expensive option of course because when it comes to shipping uh, it's really expensive now in 2019 uh, but for me I don't really mind I, I build uh, what I do is I, I build it into the price since I offer free shipping and I absorb the price that way but me I like to pay a little bit more just just to make sure that I, I deliver quality because that's what I'm about not quantity but quality is really important to me and what I do is I weigh the thing this scale is really cheap by the way I'll put it on the description um, and I'll weigh it. As you can see, this is um, well, this makes too big. This is a pound and five ounces. So, but I know this is gonna one, it looks better, and two, it's really secure, and I like that. 
So I recommend you doing this. You don't have to. You can just use an envelope like this, like I, like I showed you before, but you run into the risk of, you know, the, 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 the product getting damaged. And I don't think you, you will want that, especially if you're starting as an eBay seller or any online seller for that matter. Uh, you know, your, your ratings and your feedback uh, gets uh, damaged and then there's no recovery from that. So if you're beginning or in any level, you should always uh, approach that quality safe um, route instead of the fast cash kind of thing. So I, I hope you find this helpful and I hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe. If you don't, at least you watched it and I hope I brought you some value. Thank you so much.